Good morning, good day, and good evening. As you know, as we always say, it does not matter what time of the day, night, or evening that you listen to the On God podcast, Daily Devotions. Now, this is half of your host, which you know as Brandy, aka LZ. Ah, yes, we got through Christmas. Um, though... Um, you guys are only going to listen to this after Christmas, but I'm still recording in Christmas Day, because I need to have these things up before you guys are up, so yeah. Um, today we're going to be talking about health, um, reason being, you know, the whole festive thing, people eating like crazy, people don't take care of themselves, drinking themselves silly, you know, the whole shebang. Um... Obviously, the Bible speaks a lot about health. Um, through scripture, we can find God's guidance to good health, actually. Um, as it is rated of high importance, you know what I'm saying. These Bible verses expose us to God's rules for good physical, mental, and even spiritual health. You know? So, um, let's hope that you'll not only enjoy these scriptures but you'll find them useful and actually motivational and inspirational for you to live a healthy life now first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 to 20 says do you not know that your bodies are temples of the holy spirit who is in you whom you have received from god you are not your own you were bought at a price Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Hmm. Lovely scripture. Makes me feel some type of way. Um, well, because I, I've gained a couple of <laughs> kgs, pounds, or whatever you want to call them. Um, mainly by my belly, okay? I'm not all, the, I'm not all around fat like, you know, fat people. But... I'm not judging anyone. We're not fake shaming here, people. <laughs> this is all love. We love everybody. We all love food as human beings, okay? Okay, except for anorexic girls. Um, let me read another scripture. <laughs> if I get myself into trouble. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, th- 3 John chapter 1, t- verse 2. Um, Dear friend, pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well now the scripture is more on the lines of not just physical but mental health as well as spiritual health so it embodies all three um which is very important actually um so I'm mainly focusing on, on you know, the physical, but obviously the physical is affected by the mental. So you gotta strengthen your mental before you can, you know, better your physical. Um, First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirty-one says, "Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God." So if you were eating. <laughs> during Christmas um, all the desserts and the yams and the turkeys and oh, I had some turkey desserts and all that um, getting home and just talking about it um, do it all for the glory of God um, if, if God was not the center of what you were doing then it was all for nothing that you just hurt your body for nothing <sighs> now I won't lie all that I was eating, yeah, it was all mainly for getting my family together, because my family and I don't normally, you know, 
to the whole table thing, and you know, we normally eat at separate times in our bedrooms, or whatever, or with television and all that. So it is very important for today that we did all that we did. Um, let me read on the scripture before I pray. First Timothy chapter four verse eight it says. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Hallelujah. Mental, spiritual, and physical. All these things work together. So you got to start at your spiritual, then your mental, then your physical. Uh, one more scripture actually before I close. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22. It says... A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Mm. Now that's a nice way to end what we're talking about today. Um, and with that said, Heavenly Father, I pray all these kgs and pounds, whatever you want to call them, I pray them all the way. Okay, that you heal our, our physical our mental as well as our spiritual guide us to do what is right may we do it all in your glory forever and ever